for almost a quarter century of filming and airing adventures from across North America and around the world. It all comes back to that feeling you get. That feeling, whether a hundred miles from civilization or a ten minute drive from home. Oh my god! No matter where you're hunting, how you're hunting, or what you're hunting with, the thrill of the chase will never leave us that as hunters. That is a giant of deer. No matter if we're chasing myths and legends, or simply making old memories new again. It's that shot of adrenaline that never gets old. That is my dream stag right there. Welcome to my life, Into the Wild. Limb Saver presents Jason Peterson's Into the Wild, brought to you by Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow, Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable, Big and J Long Range Attractants, Excalibur Crossbow, the most trusted crossbows on the planet, Duel, get real with dual game calls, Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts, Scott Archery and CBE Bow Sights. Under Armour, never detected, always lethal. Slick Trick, the no excuses broadhead. Yorkton Dodge, the outdoorsman's dealership. True North Tree Stands, True North Strong. Hoyman Premium Tree Saws. Limb Saver, products that work. Texas, you know, it's, it's one of them places that I've hunted quite a bit and you know, each and every year when it's colder than heck up here in, in Saskatchewan, Canada, it's a great place to, to pack up, you know, and, and just go down there and, and do some hunting, whether it's whitetail, uh, exotics, hogs, it doesn't matter. And that's where we're going this week. We're going down to South Texas to, uh, to visit TC Outfitters um, again. Um, this time we got a group trip going and we're gonna hunt, we're gonna concentrate on, on hogs and javelina. However, I really, really like to, to hunt South Texas bucks. So I'm gonna concentrate on hunting uh, whitetail. I got a couple other buddies, Scotty Peters and, and Jared along, and they're gonna try to hunt free range Audad for the first week and then we're gonna move to a different place, a uh, different ranch farther south and um, gonna do a little bit of hog and javelina hunting. You know, I've been down to South Texas, again, quite a bit, and I've taken some great deer down there um, for South Texas free range deer. Um, the, the last one I took was, was uh, with my Excalibur crossbow, and that's what I was gonna be hunting with again this year. Uh, had a brand new suppressor, uh, 355, and um, looking forward to trying to take some kind of critter in South Texas with this, uh, with this new bow. The first few days of the hunt was, it wasn't, it wasn't real strong and it doesn't matter where you go, um, you know, it, whether you're hunting in South Texas, up here in Canada, anywhere in the world, I mean, you know, you're not always gonna have perfect conditions and, that, and that's what we're experiencing here. It wasn't great hunting conditions, so there was a lot of nocturnal activity and, uh, but you know what, we're hunting, we're gonna make the best of it, and that's just the way it's going. Um, you know, if you can't see a feeder, um, there's one close, and a lot of times they have feeders on the front of their trucks, and they'll feed the roads, and, and that's just the way they do it. It doesn't matter where in the world you are, uh, there's different hunting methods, there's different hunting styles, and in, in Texas, um, corn is a big, big, uh, it's just the way they do it. I had some Big and J along, and uh, we we're gonna give that a try as well. This segment brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. This segment brought to you by Under Armour. 
Under Armour. Go where you don't belong. So again, we're seeing we're seeing deer. I mean, no doubt about it. We're we're seeing some deer. Uh, I think it was the evening of day three. Uh, I look out and here comes two odd ad. Uh, they're sketchy. They're smart. They're they're cunning. They're 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 tough to deal with. Uh, but so I got so here's decision time. I got these two. Uh, odd at and they're bigger than the ones the one that I shot in the spring uh, what do I do I got two good buddies they're hunting the same ranch you know what uh, Scott's about uh, half a mile away and, and Jared is is a couple miles away they're hunting odd at and I got two in front of me and I'm hunting whitetails so anyways I, I just made the decision you know what um, we know these wad adder here. Hopefully I can get one of these other guys on there. No saying that they're gonna come back, but I ended up passing. How goes that? This is the same ranch. I think there's 8,000 acres here. All low fence, free range. I shot my wad out on the other side of the ranch this spring. And do come ready. Like, I could have shot him so easy with the crossbow. I should have just shot one, but I'm here on deer. Scott and Jared are hunting on dad. So let's hope in the next couple days, these two or maybe some more. Who knows? They're so nomadic, they just move through. That one was all scarred up on the front of him. You could see where his horns were digging into his shoulders. They were both nice, not super giants, I don't think, but nice odd uh, Pretty cool to see. So that was pretty much all for for that first hunt. I mean, I, I seen some bucks, but I never really seen uh, a mature deer. Uh, it's just the way it goes. It, it It's hunting. Um, and, you know, them odd ad that I seen towards the end of the hunt, um, they never, ever showed up again at, at any of the spots that, that Scott or Jared were hunting either, which sucks, but again, that's hunting. So we're packing up our stuff, we're moving farther down, and we're gonna do some, some hog and javelina hunting. So lo and behold, in the mornings, we were sitting in blinds and uh, you know waiting for hogs or javelina, and, and then in the afternoon, our plan was to drive around and check out some senderos to see if we could find some javelina to spot and stock. And let me tell you, whitetail season closed the day before. We moved down here and all of a sudden, the whitetail started showing up. It was, it, it was very frustrating, but we did see some pretty nice whitetails in front of us well within bow range. So that afternoon we decided, okay, let's let's drive around, let's see if we can see some javelina. Um, so I had Scott, Jared, um, you know, we were all along and we we're just driving these senderos and, and next thing we locate some javelina. So we're gonna do a stock. I'm gonna go with Scott, I'm gonna run the camera, Scott's gonna try to take one of his bow. Alright, it's midday. We got some javelina in the road. Scotty's up. We're gonna see if we can get close enough for a shot.
So he drew back and, and he shot and, and it just, you know, it just sailed underneath that one, that one big male and, uh, you know, they took off into the bush. Well, I had, I had my dual rabbit call with me. Um, so I started hammering away, holding the camera in one hand and hammering away on this dual rabbit call. And lo and behold, you could hear, start to hear chomping and here they come. This segment has been brought to you by Ozonics and the new Kinetic Backpack. The Kinetic Backpack helps you put serious scent control on the move. Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. We start sneaking in there, the, the javelina are kind of working down the road and uh, you know, we get to, I forget how far it was, 30 some yards and, and, and they kind of looked at us. So Scott figured he better, he better take the shot. And uh, so he drew back and, and he shot and, and it just, you know, it just sailed underneath that one, that one big male. And uh, you know, they took off into the bush. Well, I had, I had my dual rabbit call with me um, and I've never really tried it before, but calling javelina, I've seen it you know, on videos and TV and, and read, read about it in magazines, but uh, I thought, you know what, let's try this. So I started hammering away, holding the camera in one hand and hammering away on this dual rabbit call. And lo and behold, you could hear, start to hear chomping and here they come. So there was two or three that, that were ripping right towards us. Scott was trying to back up. I'm pushing Scott ahead of me because he's got to be ahead of me in order to shoot. They, they turn, veer off. They, they come right up to about four or five yards. They turn, they veer off. Another one comes ripping out of the brush, and uh, that one wasn't quite as lucky because Scott was Scott was on the ball and he sent a, sent an arrow through that one, and uh, I knew it wasn't going to go very far. the shot on the first one and shot just underneath so we called him right up i don't know who's backing up faster you or me <laughs> you <were coming> <laughs> i was using the dual rabbit jack rabbit call they just come chomping the dual call was awesome that was one of the best rushes i've ever yeah. had you could hear him coming through the bush <laughs> just chomping all right well we uh you didn't go very far that was one of the coolest things ever when you hit that call, after I missed the first one, when you hit that call, it was unreal. Could hear him thumping in the bush, running towards us. Then I realized we were a little close, so I backed up a bit. And I was trying to get behind you. <laughs> they were close at the start. Yeah, I don't know. That shot must have been about 12 yards. Yeah, but they're super, super cool to spot and stalk. And more off, like I've never tried it before, but I, I brought this dual rabbit call along, and uh, Charles said, "No, take that along, and if something happens, you miss or." You know, you know what I mean? Like, or if you shoot one, hit the call, and they'll, a lot of times they'll just come charging in again. And we did miss, so we got to test it out perfectly. But yeah, they're super cool to come and hunt, and uh, we have a lot of fun down here at TC Outfitters. Whether it's deer, odd hogs, javelina, just a, just a super fun time, and, and uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool to call them. So it was the last day of, of, the, of our you know our time there we sat in the blinds in the morning again we seen a couple pretty nice white tails and and uh but we wanted to go back and try to stock, uh, you know stock some some javelina so um i had the excalibur suppressor and i wanted to wanted to try try getting uh getting close enough to uh to to take a shot at one of these javelina um i was shooting the new slick trick raptor trick it's an expandable i'm not a big expandable fan but when i seen these um, and actually I got to try one uh, last fall before they even had a name. They, did, they, they had sent me three prototypes and I took a great whitetail with a crossbow uh, in Saskatchewan here. And it just worked fantastic. I, I mean, I shot that deer, he run 25, 30 yards and fell over. So, so it worked great. And uh, I just wanted to see what it would do to, to you know, one of these javelina. They're pretty tough on the front end, but um, they're, they're cunning little little critters, but they're, uh, they're, they're tough to kill. This segment is brought to you by Bog Pod, hunting rests, bipods, and tripods. Wonder what these hogs do? <laughs> this is a guy's house right here. They got this all rooted right up. Just totally destroyed the lawn. That's crazy.
So it was the last day of, of, the, of our, you know, our time there. We sat in the blinds in the morning. Again, we seen a couple pretty nice whitetails, and, and, uh, but we wanted to go back and try to st uh, you know, stalk some, some javelina. So um, I had the Excalibur suppressor and I wanted to, wanted to try, try getting, uh, getting close enough to, uh, to, to take a shot at one of these javelina. It's kind of one of them hunts that if you mess it up, it's like, mm, we'll go find some more. But pretty cool first kill with the uh, brand new micro suppressor. Pretty cool little bull. These little things are so cool to spot and stock. We, uh, we've been trying more off, we've been trying those onyx unit and stalking right with the wind, and it's it's been working, but they still can smell something, so they, they booger off. But this is my first kill with the um, Excalibur suppressor, and uh, like I say, these are super cool little critters. There's a little blood, but they got huge teeth. And another thing we've been trying is I brought one of these dual rabbit calls, and uh, after we shoot, we try to call and. A lot of times they just come ripping around and more times than not they don't stop long enough for a shot especially with the bow but uh, just uh, super fun down here in South Texas and uh, it's actually our second last more, uh, afternoon I guess it is but uh, second last afternoon and um, then we got to head back to the cold frozen north but pretty fun uh, definitely not my first javelina but uh, they're just super cool to stock up on it. And you know what, if you mess up a stock, you just go find some more. So super fun, uh, doing some hunting with some good buddies and uh, a lot of fun down here. If you ever have a chance, come down to South Texas and do some hog, javelina, uh, bring your buddies, bring your, bring your family, bring your kids. Uh, super fun hunt and a, and a great way to get away in the winter when all our seasons are closed up there. So anyways, we'll get them, uh, get them taken back to the truck and go see if we can find another one. So the next morning we had a little bit of time before we had to go back to San Antonio to the airport and, uh, and get on the plane to come home. Um, so we were deciding, you know, let's drive around a little bit, see if we can find some more Havelita. Maybe Scott would get another one, maybe Jerry would get one, maybe I would have a chance at another one. And, and lo and behold, you know, uh, we found some, we found some Havelita and um, Jared ended up taking one with the with a rifle and uh, a big old male. After Jared took that one, um, we're uh, we're running short on time, but but uh, we locate another another few uh, javelina in the in the an old sendero, uh, growing up grass. So Scott decided, you know what, he would run the camera. Uh, I would sneak in there and try to get a shot. I didn't realize it, but but it was tough to film. Scott was kind of holding the camera out in f almost, you know, like this. So it wasn't really the steadiest footage uh, possible. But um, you know, I got close enough, took the shot, and uh, got that javelina.
Uh, I was pretty pretty happy with the with the equipment, the new suppressor, Excalibur suppressor, um, the the Victory Arrow, and the uh, and the Raptor trick. So again, it was a great time down down in South Texas with you know some some good buddies and some uh, some other you know guys and gals that come along on the on the group trip. We had a we had another great trip, and I look forward to getting down to Texas each and every year somewhere for some kind of critter uh, in the off, especially in, the, in our off season uh, from up here in Canada. So hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, Havelina are a ton, to, a ton of fun to spot and stock. So you better get down there and, and do a little hunting for yourself. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week. Closed captioning brought to you by Getter Done Oil Field Services for all your Western Canada water transfer needs. The SBA has been the voice of the Saskatchewan bow hunter since 1970. Please join us as we set our sights on improving bow hunting opportunities and fighting for all bow hunters in our province. Our voice is heard in numbers, so head over to the SBA website and become a member today. Into the Wild is also brought to you by